I am Yesh Shikhar. Today we are going to see about creating a step response and an impulse response in control system. First of all you have to create a, you have to go to the control simulation module. From there you have to select the control design. First of first I am going to pin this. Then uh, click a model construction. Under that you have to select the CD construct transfer, mo transfer function model. Right? So just drag and drop this. Uh, then I want to have some uh, output to display the transfer function model. So uh, you have to create another block CD draw transfer function equation. Okay. Uh, fine. As usual, uh, from the previous uh, cases. Uh, you have to create some constant control uh, from a, as a numerator and a denominator. Sorry, it's a constant. So create control. In control. Oh, sorry. Then I have to connect with the transfer function model. Then I suppose to create an indicator in the trans in the draw transfer function model. Mm. Okay, the indicator is created. Uh, then all I want to do is just go to the time response under the time response you have to select the step response so just drag and drop it and just connect it with the under the space pa state space model pin with the output time then you have to create an indicator that's all so if I'm going to add some transfer function I oh, 7 65 and 9 okay if I'm going to run the program what else can I do? first of all I want to save the file file to There are some mistakes in the denominator. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, you can see the step response of this desired transfer function. Uh, so, uh, if you if you intend to change the transfer function, like intend to. You can see the changes like this. So if I'm going to vary the S variable, uh, you can see the transfer function somewhat it's, uh, uh, it's oscillates. You can see the oscillations to become stable. So this is what the transfer fun uh, step response of the transfer function is. So the impulse response is, is just by replacing the uh, step response block with the impulse response block. That's it. I'm going to plug the impulse response then as usual the same procedure connect it with the output line then indicate it with the graph So if I'm going to run this, it will be look like this. So if I vary this, the graph should be 
more similar to the impulse response graph so this is about this tutorial meet us in the next session thank you